I'm telling you, a cucumber is definitely a fruit. That's weird. What's that from? I read in the newspaper. Oh. I'll kill you, you thieving bastard! Mm. Mm. What's the problem, friend? Give me my things, boy. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend, but that kid is, and he robbed from me. Now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. That kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. <gasps> now, come on! You new in town, mister? Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. <laughs> you don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why are you gonna care a thing about you? I just wanna speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. <laughs> well, you and your friends should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, yokel. Now, get out of here. you been? Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Huh. Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John. You meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know. Far from real open country. Buenos dias, senor.
Buenos días. Hope you had a good old time while I've been stuck standing here. Mr. Trelawney. How have you been, Arthur? Okay. You seem well, Reverend? Yes. Well, maybe. I've been okay before, but then I make a fool of myself again. <laughs> so do I. I went into town. So did I. If I was still a, a religious man, I'd say there are too many Catholics there, but I've, I've given up on all that. Mm. Me too, Reverend. I met a monk there. A kindly fellow took me back to my days in college. Is there any purpose to this conversation, Reverend? Not really, but he said the strangest things about all manner of bad things happening in town. Bad things happening in a city. <laughs> Who would have thought it possible? Maybe if you're there, you could have a chat with him. He's hanging about outside the marketplace, collecting alms for the poor. Sounds thrilling. Good morning, Arthur.
Mr. Morgan. Still working, Mr. Strauss. What you been up to? Trying to wrap up our accounts before we leave, Mr. Morgan. So you'll be joining us in Tahiti? I uh, rather fancied Australia. A similar kind of people to us. Lots of opportunity. That tells me we're going to be ranchers. Perhaps, but um, so far we have not raised many cattle. No. So, Mr. Morgan, will you help me finalize our business here? <coughs> this is filthy work. We'll need money in Australia. Well, for cattle and feed, I mean. Why flinch now? You never have done before. I don't know. Well, here they are. Some fishermen by the name of Davison, Algie Davison, living in a place called Catfish Jackson near Scarlet Meadows. A fisherman. And that's it. We're a union built on that, you know. Yeah. Okay. Okay, my girl. 